Foreign Affairs Minister Carl Greenwich today set the record straight on an erroneous article in the Kaichur News relating to the agreement between Ghana and China on the Belt and Road Initiative. Here's more. Foreign Affairs Minister Carl Greenwich made it clear that the China Belt and Road Initiative is a voluntary agreement between bilateral partners. The minister clarified that it was a memorandum of understanding that was signed with the country, not a loan agreement. The suggestion that countries, as, as you put it and as the newspaper tried to put it, countries that have signed on to such an initiative have found themselves in a dead trap is misleading because at the last count, at least 68 countries were part and parcel of the Belt and Road Initiative. A number of them, and it is, it is it, I wouldn't say it's insignificant, but a number of them have encountered difficulties um, arising from the project. But you know, the difficulties that have arisen um, cannot all be put on the plate of the Belt and Road Initiative itself. Um, if you start off indebted before you take an additional loan, you will still be indebted. The main causes of failed or problematic projects in the third world, Minister Green said, are not the source of the funds, but often the concept or design of projects. One of the problems with this particular article and a series that followed it is that it, it follows in what one might term a herd mentality. You see um, a criticism or two criticisms about something and you just jump in without trying to refine or to look at the specifics in the case of, let us say, Guyana, because that is what is required here. Um, in general, there are debates about indebtedness or about aid. That is, there are some persons who criticize any aid whatsoever, arguing that aid leads to a weakening of fiscal and policy incentives for countries to do their own thing properly. Many newspaper articles, the minister explained, focus on tied aid, without realizing that all countries use this mechanism to ensure that their firms benefit when aid is granted to a foreign state. Contrary to what is conveyed in the articles, tied aid is not unique to the Chinese government programs, Minister Greenwich highlighted. For InfoHub, Stacey Carmichael.